Good afternoon. We are Ever Abram, Rios Gallegos, and Javier Hernandez. And we are going to talk about solid oxid fuel cells, that is a device to produce electricity. And this is our content and objective introduction, soft cells, indications, advantages, disadvantages, conclusion, and reference. Well, our objective is to explain one of the most interesting devices to produce clean energy, consider how it works, where can we apply it, and where, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using it to produce electricity. Hmm, a fuel cell is a device used to produce electric energy. Using a fuel cell, a fuel such as a carbon monoxide, hydrogen, methanol, etc. An oxygen from the air, they can provide electricity to cell phones and hospitals as well. They could be used in a backup system to provide energy in any situation or in a natural disaster. Well, the salt is a type of fuel cell that works at high temperatures around 800 to 1000 degrees. The high operating temperatures mean that fuels can be formed inside the cell, so we don't need another device to produce the reforming of the hydrocarbon fuels. A cogeneration system can be used with the fuel cell to produce ener energy. Uh, sorry, to produce energy with the exhaust gas in a turbine. There are many applications for the socks, but the most interesting is to provide energy in large scale, like 50 kilowatt, 100 kilowatt, or even 1 megawatt. In the USF, there are many places where hospitals um, have an electric feed powered by this type of fuel cells. The Hartford Hospital have one. 04 megawatt power uh, system that supplies about 60% of the hospital's power, exceeds that exceed heat in hardness and utilize it by a nervous school system. The advantage are the that they use a ceramic electrode and this in this uh, point we we consider the ceramic electrodes because they are uh, so cheap uh, in comparison with the other ones that like platinum or these type of materials that are too expensive. Uh, not require a catalyst because of its high temperature and ungrade uh, efficiency like 60% only with the fuel cell and to 80% with a cogeneration system with a turbine. They work at high temperatures, provide energy in a huge rate and power in areas such as intensive care units when hospitals lose access to electricity. Uh, so in this case we can use this type of cells to uh, provide energy to the hospitals that need in, in unimportant areas like intensive care units. Uh, for example, in a natural disaster or when the electricity doesn't work, so we can use this type of cells. Their disadvantages uh, are they are have they have a slow start. They are used only to produce stationary energy and require an external device to rise at high temperatures. And to conclusion. Uh, these devices are useful, especially to power great buildings such as military bases, schools, or even hospitals. So that's why we consider them to produce electricity anywhere, whenever it is needed. With the increasing contamination, we have to apply new alternatives to produce energy. In a clean and environmental friendly way, fuel cells are one of, the, of those alternatives to produce electricity because they um, use or uh, they have these features and here are our reference so that's it 
ਥਾਂ ਦੁੱਜੇ 